Hey everyone, someone here for Wintering. On today's video, I wanted to talk about my one year review of owning the Pioneer adjustable lever system. Um, you can buy this as either a complete belt or as I did, uh, buy it as a standalone attachment for a pre existing lever belt you have. Um, you can check out the video here, or here, uh, where I go over how I installed my belt on the Titan Longhorn uh, lever belt system. I went in pretty easily. Took about maybe 30 minutes just because I had to drill a little bit of, uh, drill a couple of extra holes, well, widen the existing holes on the Titan belt, and that took a little bit of time because I didn't want to drill too much out. So, probably do it quicker, but it might have a loose, <laughs> some loose drill holes there. In any case, uh, this is probably my new favorite belt. Um, the awesome thing about it, obviously, is that like a normal lever belt, you have all of the different holes of adjustment here. Um, but unlike a normal lever belt, in order to make the belt looser or tighter, you have to take out these two screws and move it up and down depending on how <sighs> big or small your waist is. Uh, in any case, it is you do get the one inch uh, measurements or the one inch differences there. Uh, the cool thing with the adjustable lever system is that within each one inch hole setting, you're able to get about, you get one, two, three, four, five levels five levels of extra adjustment. Obviously each wave is its own. Each wave is a different adjustable point. So you can put it there, 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 or there. So clearly uh, it gives you extra five levels of adjustment for each unit, for each inch of hole space that you have. Now, if you lose a ton of weight or gain a ton of weight, um, you're going to have to adjust you, the screws because that's not going to be within the, the realm there but day-to-day -day fluctuations of weight if you're training in the morning on an empty stomach or training in the evening after eating a full day's worth of food um, you generally don't need to change the screws out because it gives you a, a good two inches of adjustment there um, and also the awesome thing with having this adjustable system here is that um, I like to wear my belt a little higher for the deadlifts when compared with a squat. Um, so having that higher up on the torso means I need to loosen that belt out a little bit. And that normally meant I'd have two belts to use, one for the deadlift and one for the squat, especially because I couldn't change the lever system here. Uh, but with this thing, I just have one belt now. Um, I've actually stopped using my um, the Pioneer cut belt. So in addition to the Pioneer lever belt, I do have the Pioneer Cut Belt, which is a single prong system, but again, it gives you that extra half inch of adjustability on the belt. Um, not the biggest fan of the buckle system, uh, just because it's a little more tedious to have to take on and off. That's the only reason for that. Um, I did love the fact that I had each of these holes here. I got this belt before I got the uh, the lever adjustment there so I could compare both just a regular lever belt and a buckle system. Um, convenience wise definitely prefer the lever uh, the lever belt uh, but for the adjustability um, the, the Pioneer cut was awesome but now that we've got the possibility of having a lever belt with half inch adjustments uh, that has pretty much taken over all of my belt use and I rarely use um, the Pioneer cut belt anymore, unfortunately, because this is a great belt. Um, it's the 13 millimeter thickness compared with a 10 millimeter thickness, so three mils of uh, difference there. I don't know if the camera's going to catch that difference in thickness there, but it gives you a tiny bit of extra support. Uh, it does take a little bit more time to break in the 13 mil, but I mean, it, it's all part of having that type of belt system. Uh, in any case, I think a year on, this is probably, if you don't own the Pioneer lever belt and you have any other type of belt that just uses a, a regular lever system, 100% uh, recommend buying that adjustable lever modification. Uh, double check on the website to see what belts it comp it's compatible with and what aren't. Uh, just because of the way it attaches to the belt, I'd, you're going to run into issues if the spacing of those four screws and the spacing of these two screws are different to what type of belt your, yours has. Um, again, a lot of people have bought this already, so there's a lot of comments and reviews saying what works and what doesn't work. Um, I think they have a list as well of what works and what doesn't work. Check that out before you buy it. 
Otherwise, you're gonna to have to be drilling new holes into your awesome leather belt, and I wouldn't recommend that. If your belt isn't compatible, get the pre-made belt that already comes with the lever, and then you'll get the best of both worlds. You get the best of that adjustability from a lever belt. So you'll get the best of both worlds, which is the adjustability of a single prong belt, and then the quick release of the lever belt. On a year of use, uh, it doesn't really show any signs of wear and tear. There's minor scuffing on the metal, uh, which, I mean, comes part and parcel with the territory. I think I, I think I dinged the front of the belt buckle on the barbell, so it had a little bit of a scuff mark there, but nothing really functional. Uh, the the lever action is, is is very smooth. There's a little bit of squeakiness, but I mean, from metal on metal, that's going to be normal. It feels really solid. I've squatted. Uh, 500 pounds with this, no big deal. Deadlifted 400 pounds with this. There's no doubt in my mind that this lever system's holding up. At first, there's, I had a little doubt. I had a, a, a slight concern that those little, those little wave teeth won't hold the belt, but that it has never come apart. And I think just the way that the forces are going to be working, you're pointing outwards. This that. After your reviews, this has not come undone at any point in time, so that there's no doubt in my mind now that it's ever going to come undone when you don't want it to come undone. Um, the only real con would be that uh, the installation is a little bit difficult depending on the belt you have, um, and it might not be compatible with other belts. It's a very reasonable price, I believe it was $80 plus shipping, and that's fantastic for what this affords you. Um, <laughs> The biggest con is that I don't use my Pioneer cut belt anymore because this has surpassed the convenience of that. Um, let me know if you have any questions below that I missed in the review. It's it's pretty straightforward device, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, no big cons that I would steer you away from getting this for. Um, I think the closest competitor is going to be the SBD lever belt and that thing's like triple the price of the lever system and I think two and a half times the price of getting a whole Pioneer belt. Um, oh, the last thing is if you do compete in a federation that is pretty strict with their equipment requirements, this might not qualify. I don't think it does. I don't think a lot of Pioneer stuff qualifies for a certain powerlifting league, so powerlifting federation. Uh, so that is probably gonna be a thing you should look up if you compete in a certain uh, federation. Otherwise, check it out. It's a great thing. It, it's it's pretty much perfect system to add to the belt. Highly recommend it. This has been Selm from Wind Strength, and remember, a better life through strength.